All right, here we go. <clears throat> kind of screwed up on the last video. Need to remember to set a timer. Anyway, so there's a couple of things we didn't get recorded here. Looks like I need food already. I think I might have some more food on me though. All right, three, two, that's some venison stew. Very nice. So, um, we do need to level up here, but what's our weight looking like here? 97? So we should be able to pick up all these uh, little pieces of uh, crap. <coughs> That's the right terminology. I thought there was another piece of uh, iron over here somewhere, but it doesn't look like it. So, um, yeah, we're going to get all this stuff because we're going to need it all for, there's, no, I'm going to need it all for smithing because, you know, smithing takes forever. And we're going to show the animation the whole time because I'm not a very good uh, editor. Someone wants to go back and edit my videos without the mining there. I figure I'd just talk over it, you know, give you something to listen to maybe. If you guys are um, not tired of hearing my voice, or if anyone ever sees this, you know. I'm sure there's a lot better uh, YouTubers there, but, you know. I wonder if this gives you some kind of the tattered journal. If you read it, does it give you some kind of option? Or is it just, you know. We're going to leave it there. And we're going to check up here, you know, I mean, over here. I don't think there's any, oh, that was a torch. Check back over here. I believe everyone's dead from the last time I kind of left off. Oh, look, guy's naked. So, yeah, probably everyone's dead. You're all dead. No resurrection from you. That's the only thing I really miss about, uh, oh, I'll pick up the sacks. The mods, the resurrection mod, I believe, is like probably the, okay, I picked up the steel axe, but I guess he has one on too, huh? Uh, the resurrection mod is pretty cool because, um, you know, the only people I hate losing are the merchants. Like I have one game where you know, the girl in White Run, I guess. She is dead. So without her, you know, it's it's kinda sad. You know, I go there and I think uh vampires killed her or something, I don't know. And then the guy in the the war I guess her buddy that she lives with maybe, I think. Yeah, I think they're married actually, but um yeah, he's dead too, so I mean those are the two guys that have the most money in all of Skyrim. Well, not all of Skyrim, but in that town, you know, they both start with like a hundred gold, I think, or whatnot. And I'd like to play in third person. And we already checked all these things. I believe so. Yeah. No, we're not going to pick up that. And I, you know what? I probably don't even need these. I mean, these axes and stuff, you know. We kind of need to hurry up, too, because, you know, that survival clock is ticking. And I'm really still not sure. I want to make it to where I'm probably, like, leveling up my character completely the wrong way. But I figure, you know, if I'm going to be hunting my stuff, I am a hunter. So everything that touches my lips, I have to kill. I almost broke my rule the very first time because I really thought I couldn't do it. But luckily, I found some rabbits, cooked them, ate them up. There's the Argonian, too. Like, he can eat raw meat or something. And I never understood that because, like, yeah, he doesn't have to worry about getting food poisoning or whatnot. But, um, you know, why would you want to eat raw meat? It doesn't even give you anything. So, I don't know. Man, I am getting a lot of jewels out of this. Maybe I can make some jewelry or something with it. But I'll probably just end up selling it or something. 
The only thing I don't like about third person is I'd like to be out a little more. And I guess with the mods, it gives you like a different perspective a little bit further out. But I guess then I miss being able to go like look at the person's face and like gear in a certain way, I guess. I don't know. It's aesthetically pleasing to me. Okay, we're not gonna pick up that. And uh, is this stuff? No. Alright. Oh, this guy's got all this stuff on him. Okay, I'm just not clicking. It says search bandit. There we go. Pick up all his stuff. And then we'll go to our trusty friend. Oh yeah, let's get our torch out here. And white run. Or, and uh, I think we already made our, if I'm not mistaken, we've already got our base at the, the inn. And as long as we don't pay for a room, we'll have a free room for the rest of the game. But this, the second you pay for a room, then I guess you get the room. And I don't know if I spent my purchase training rights for this level. But, you know, it really doesn't bother me. I know guys, they don't like sitting there and punching or, I guess, kicking or stabbing something over and over again. But for me, I really don't care. Okay, I am over the weight. So let's drop. And that's basically what you have to do in order to, like, kind of level these guys up, you know. Oh, I still have that soul thing. Okay, this is a lot of weight, so we'll just drop those too, because we can turn around and sell it. Where's my torch? At least that's the only way I've seen to level up your guy to, you know, because I don't like, <clears throat> for instance, Fallout, how you can just keep leveling up your guy over and over again and get him to 100. Like, I feel that kind of breaks a game, because you should be specialized, you know? You should have some kind of, you know, a top limit, I guess you would say, and, you know, when you don't have that top limit, your guy gets so strong to where he can, you know, like, I just feel that the basis of, uh, all these guys, like, they gotta be able to max out somewhere, you don't want your archer to be a expert, maybe a dagger, or like, one-handed guy, maybe, or, but he can't be everything, you know? I feel that kind of breaks the game. So, my whole point of that is that uh, you can hit legendary, I guess, whenever you max something out to the full potential. About to pick up that pot from a different game. I guess the long dark, you're kind of looking for pots to boil water. See, and I don't know, should water be a part of the survival mechanic? Like, should you have to make water or find water? I think that would have been a little bit better in my opinion, but you know, maybe it's a little too tedious because you already got to eat, but you know, in Fallout you have to have water. So why wouldn't this be any different? And I'm sure I keep checking the same thing over and over again, but and I'm going to get the torches because, you know, they give you 50 points. I wonder how many I have now. Okay, 20 is good. I guess that's like 10 pounds actually, huh? Yeah, so I mean, and I guess like places like this, you could kind of fill up your water bottles if you, you know, like drink your wine and then you have your water bottles, you got to fill them up in the lake or the river. And it should be part of your uh, stash, I guess, you know, or maybe they have a mod that does that. But like I said, I mean, I, I like playing with mods, but then... Maybe there is a mod that gives you that ability that allows you to, uh, you know, do those types of things and stuff. Alright, so we've got two pounds left. And I think we have. I think the ore is one pound, isn't it? Isn't the ore one pound? I can't remember. There's a mod that makes it like 10 pounds or something. Yeah, they are one pound, so. Uh-oh, hungry. But that's fine, we've got 
we're gonna go to sleep because we can level up and I'm not gonna worry about our leveling up purchase rights and all that good stuff I don't have enough money to begin with and um, I guess I can start the the power potion type thing okay we are totally filled up so um, let's drop another one of these usually the weapons well let's see if I got any fur shoes on me yeah these are worthless so we'll drop five usually it's one pound for every ten I think it is every ten gold <coughs> And then after that, you know, okay, I think that's it. So we're going to go ahead and sleep in here on the mat. Maybe we should have ran to the uh, other side, but uh, we're here. We might as well. And I wonder if I should just sleep for an hour because if I just sleep for an hour, then um, I might not oh 420 I might not be tired enough because I don't want to waste you know food and stuff okay I haven't put any points into health so we're gonna go one more stand oh yeah in one health so I leveled up twice that kind of sucks so let's see we want to make sure we get our sneak okay we got 40 archery I already put one point into that and then uh, our sneak we only need one more point here and then we can get the triple damage and then I should be able to kill a, uh, a deer <coughs> with the sneak attack I'm thinking and then I stole the elven bow from what's her face so I need to make sure I don't get caught doing anything bad because then I'll lose my bow and that won't be cool even though I guess you can go steal it from that place. I think. I can't even remember. I haven't been busted before. Okay, let's go ahead and eat here. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and eat a venison stew and see if we can... Yeah. Well fed. I wonder... Oh, there's some hanging moss over there. That's good. I don't think I can get it though, huh? I wonder if I could jump off this ledge to get it. That's fine. It's one hanging moss. Yeah, I was like, are those things going to make noise? So, how are we going to get our one point and sneak? It should be relatively easy. I mean, we've got, I think, three points. And not yet, I'm not even sure. Maybe I'll put one into light armor or something. Or I could put one into the... Uh, because if we are going to be sneaking around, got three points. Let's see this archery. This is not going to give me any. Well, critical shots. That would be nice. Can already put zooming and slow time. So yeah, let's do. We'll do the eagle eye, and then we'll slow time, and then we'll keep our one point for the sneak. I wanted to put it into muffled movement, but uh, we'll get it next time. All right. So we do have purchase training rights for this level. I think I already killed the wolves. Oh, more reptile. Ba -na -na. But the thing is now, I don't know if I've tried to kill a deer yet. It might be one over here. Unless I already killed them. But you know, I'm sure they respawn. You know, don't you think they respawn? Okay, we need to go sell some stuff first. And we need to disenchant some stuff. And that should level us up pretty high. And I think since we're level 9 now, stuff is going to be pretty hard to beat. Oh, come on, dude. I don't want anything, dude. No. Get away. Get away, dude. No. Leave me alone. Okay, fine, whatever, man. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Yeah. Moving up in the world, eh? Hey. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Well, that's kind of good because um
Bayar of Ball Creek, I think it is. Once you get your house, you get a little garden outside. And then not only that, yeah, I'm going to sell both of those because I doubt I'm going to need sparks and clairvoyance. But once you get your house, you get a little garden. You can put, you know, all your stuff out there. And then basically, you know, you come back every, I say, what, two to three days. And then you get all the stuff. So, I mean, Canis Root and Mora Tapanella and Dragon's Tongue, Imp Stool, like... You don't need to worry about all that stuff. Potions and stuff. I mean, that's just, in my opinion. I'm sure there's other people that do different things, but it's kind of how I do it. So get rid of the dagger, and then we'll keep. Okay, I was like, wait a sec. Okay, we'll keep that. Need that. Got to disenchant that. We've got two fur armors. So this stuff, keep all our iron ore, wolf pelt, and car. Good day, Good day sir. Huh? Back up, girl. Potatoes, flowers, yeah, I can't remember if I went through all this stuff yet. I'm really interested to see if I can... Man, I'm so close to leveling up sneak. <clears throat> and you know there's plenty of ways to level up sneak I can go like in the corner over here Maybe I think and keep body. moving up and that'll level up sneak what, are you doing that for? what I'm just showing people stuff where's that letter didn't I give you a letter okay you got nothing we can cook I didn't think we did. River. My sister Camilla. Trinkets, odds I'm sure she is happy to help me. Um, no. Don't want to sell any of that stuff. I don't think we can sell the amulet, can we? Oh, wow, we can. I thought that was like a quest item, maybe later on in the game. Keep all that stuff, and uh, we'll give you the ale, and keep the potatoes, give you all this wine. Even though it's good to have that stuff, because you just never know. Here you can have these books, though. Level up speech. I better get back yeah, because after we get our one point into the sneak, uh, we can steal all this stuff, too. But I doubt... Ooh, eater cheese wheels. These are really good for making uh, magic a food stuff potions. What are you doing that for? What, dude? Why is everyone freaking out over here? <coughs> nope. Sorry. Nothing. Don't you have somewhere else to be? You just hang out there? Is that your plan? So we can go buy some I'm sure this guy has some good stuff. Oops, didn't mean to take that. Good thing that wasn't stealing. Alright, so <coughs> Maybe if I get a, a couple of sneak kills on um that was just lying around. Good find. What the bucket? Okay, I don't what is that? Is that a deer? There's the deer. Okay. I knew there was a deer there. Let's see if he uh he sees me here. Get out our elven bow. I mean, I doubt, without the triple sneak, I doubt I'll be able to kill this thing. And I still should have put... Okay, well, I do have zoom in, don't I? Did I already spook him? Don't tell me I already spooked him. Give me a break, man. How could he have already seen me? Oh, crap. Okay, well... I don't get the sneak attack, I don't think.
Come on, man. Give me a break. Give me a break, dear. Don't kill him. I can't hit him. Wasted four hours on this thing and he still, yeah, can't hit him. Okay, I got the wolf. Couldn't, aw, oh, you jerk. Leave him alone. Yeah, I am just a terrible shot today. Okay, this isn't working at all. I am just firing blanks all day long. Yeah, we're gonna have to go get some, uh, come on. We're gonna have to get some arrows from somewhere. There we go. Nope. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over here and we're going to stab this freaking deer with a pickaxe. I don't guess with the souls. Come on, come on. Don't run away, please. No. Come on. Yeah. No, oh, man. Please just die. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Wolf. I'm sure you helped me out a little bit. Did I already run out of charge in there? Okay. Probably playing this bad for or this game pretty bad, but you know. I never claimed to be an expert, I just claimed to be that I played this game a lot. That's basically it. But that's nice, I'm really glad I got a uh, some meat bonus. Yeah, and I don't think I'm going to be able to kill, might have to maybe upgrade my, my bow. <clears throat> and I know I could probably buy a horse. Okay, did I kill this deer over here? Or this wolf, maybe? Sometimes there's a hidden event over here. Or not hidden, but... Cochinos. Okay, it looks like it's just Mike. And here he sees me, because I have no sneak. Well, I do have sneak, but... Sure. Once I get the. Back off before I do something drastic. What? What did I do? What? Oh, you're right. Oh yeah, they're looking for that girl, huh? Looking for the girl with the scar. All right. Might be another deer over here somewhere. Take it cool, take it easy. There's a Luna Moth over there. Yeah, let's go get the Luna Moth. Seeing how there's no deer over here. Ooh, and some torch bug. Makes a good, uh, Stamina potion. Thought I saw two Luna Moss. There's some more. What's this? Bad guy? No. Where's your Luna Moth friend? No, I saw him somewhere. Or not. Nah. All right, I kind of don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know what to do first or how to do it. There's a Luna Moth. Hey, broskies. Thank you for your wings. I 
Okay. <clears throat> I think I already jacked all the hunting brew meat from here. Nice. This is not stealing. This is borrowing to give it to someone else. In return, they give me money for it. Jack all this stuff. Okay. Thank you, sir. Any more deer? I'm kind of wanting to get another deer. I mean, I'm very happy that I got the first one. Is that lavender? Nice. Here we go. And I still need to disenchant some stuff. I don't know what I want to purchase with the with these purchase right things. Kind of wanted to save my money that way I can level up speech because when you level up speech, then you can in turn sell any. anything to anyone <clears throat> and that's how you're really going to be able to uh, you know you make your potions and then you can go to the college of winterhold buy all their stuff and buy a bunch of soul gems and you can level up enchanting pretty fast no already all right well let's go ahead and just eat a piece of chicken chicken Alright, I'm going to try to kill this guy, even though I probably know it's not going to work, but I, I'm really curious to see. And as long as the guard doesn't see me, I think we'll be good. Let's do a quick save, just in case. No. And he saw me. How did he see me? I was sneaking, man. Give me a break, dude. All right, because <clears throat> we really, I mean, I guess unless we go pay our bounty and then after we pay our bounty, you know, we could, oh, oh. <clears throat> but we got to drop our arrow or our bow, so, so definitely once I have, I need at least one item that's, uh, gives me a boost to archery here probably. Go kill some mug crabs, probably. Need some arrows, so we're gonna have to make a make a track somewhere. Solitude, Riften, one of those places you can get free arrows. It's kind of tedious, but you know, it's not like I got anything else to do here. Okay, is that a deer? That is a deer. Well, I know if I couldn't kill the... Well... Man, it'd be awesome if I get another shot. Oh, that would've been awesome. Okay, and we do get our sneaking bonus here. So let's put that point into uh, triple. Bam! So it's just a little bit of cheating. Okay, let's see if we can follow this guy. There is a random event place up here. It could be our demise. Gonna keep following this guy and hopefully we can sneak up on him. Get some more deer meat. Okay. Don't want to come in too hot here. We're a hunter. see him anywhere. He just took off running. I and mean, how far could he have gone? I wish there was like a blood trail you could follow. Cause I'm sure he's bleeding. He's bleeding out, you know? Is that him? That looks like a beehive actually.
No deer? Our guy is really weak too, so a couple of skeevers could pretty much end us. And I don't see a deer anywhere. I mean, he just totally, like, maybe he ran up the cliff or something. I thought there was a random gen a random event right there. Maybe he ran this way. Come up slow. Is that him? Oh, give me a break, dude. Huh, you didn't see me? Oh, he's gone. Yeah, we're going to have to put some points in the sneak. Some more points. Okay, there is the... Okay, I got detected. Guess I don't realize how bad my sneak is. Then there's also like saber cats, I think. Okay. Is that him? Okay, there is a deer over there. Nope, still can't kill him. Alright, well. I guess it takes a lot more than I thought. Well, I can almost kill a mud crab. One shot. Oh, yeah. Okay, mud crab. You got ninja skills over here. Oh, twice ninja skill. That's just, that's just perfect. Hey, Mr. Mud Crab. No, I just want some of your friend here. We do have a bunch of Nord Mead so we can take off running if we need to. Jump up this. I mean, these guys have legs, so I can cook up the legs here. No, slow down. Slow down, bro. Hey, where are you going, man? Die in peace, man. Die in peace, sir. Uh-oh. I want my arrow back. Can I have my arrow back? Run! Okay. Can I get this shot now? You gonna let me have this, Mr. Mud Crab? Thank you. So, yeah. I guess all those points were wasted because I still can't kill a deer in one shot. Probably, I probably got to upgrade my bow and then. Okay, there's another mud crab. What's that? Is that a saber cat? Already? Wow. Wonder how much I'll take. I mean, we're gonna take off running, but. Oh my goodness, I missed him. That's certain death. I'm sure he'll just one-shot me. Okay, we're in hidden status here. Let's get out of here. I don't have many arrows left here's another deer that I can't kill what sees me man? give me a break dude give me a break dude Like really, what's oh the guard, okay. Alright, you think I can get that shot off everybody? Oh, 
further up. I've got eight arrows. Oh yeah, right when I shot he moves. That's just perfect. And this game really knows how to screw you sometimes, especially with those arrows. It's just like one after another, dude. Okay, well we'll pick up some of this stuff. Watch out for saber cats. In fact, I'm not even going to go that way. Even if there is stuff. Saber cats are deadly. One shotter. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and quick save just in case. JIC, man. See, it's just too close. Like, it's just way too close. When you go into third person, like it needs to be that far. But when it goes way up here, it's like you can't see anything. So I tend to always walk around. And what gets on my nerves are those the guards. How they always say, you know, they're they're one line. Guard gets nervous. I guess we could go get a free horse from that dude over there and go kill some, uh, kill some deer. At the Stolen Horse Ranch. The Stolen Horse Cave. I just, I guess they just ran right by it without discovering it. Okay, so we're going to leave it here and, um, come back. Maybe by the fire, warm up a little bit, right? And uh, we'll see you next time in Skyrim. What is this guy? Wood Elf? Survival? Legendary? Difficulty? Thank you, and goodbye.